If you get a guy and a girl going out on a date, for instance, and say they have a wonderful time, the next day, the woman's basically analyzed the whole date, has pretty much figured out how far the relationship can go, and if you can go to marriage, she's starting planning everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's the guy doing? Uh, the guy, after his morning scratching, does the I got some dancing that <laughs> talk about is the fundamentals of relationships, stuff that can make things work for everybody here. I'm going to give you guys some tools or help you realize your own tools so you can maximize your relationship potential. Sound good? If you're happy, your partner's happy, that's the most important thing you can both have. Ever drive that car without uh, clearing off the windshield? You know, like if the crosshairs are working well, everybody's going by like 60, 70 miles an hour, you go up 30, going, oh, anybody ever do that? Yeah. yeah, that's annoying, right? That's the same thing as if you're not in that happy place, it's going to take more effort, more focus, more time. I might bump into a few things along the way. What if I went on a thing again? I ran out of blindfolds, so I <laughs> got these little sweatpants. Alright. Caught you in the face, but it's not the way. Why did you choose her? When you get really good answers, you don't want to pick the one that's got the best answers. <laughs> I think now we see why he's single. Do you guys enjoy horseback riding at all? Horseback riding? <laughs> uh, I'm going by their reaction. I think number one's looking it up, what that is. And number two, I'm giving you guys Number two wants to phone a friend. So, do you think she uh, did okay getting her needs met based on her questions? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She did pretty well, pretty well. Oh, Let's give it up for a lovely new couple of we're going to do a, uh, a little experiment here. Anybody ever heard of the newlywed game? Yeah. We're going to do a little couples game right now. What, Sarah, Sabrina, and Caitlin, is your partner's favorite hobby? I would have to say dance parties. Dance parties? Yeah. And that is? Very good. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know where they come up with that. <laughs> This technique I'm about to demonstrate, or have them demonstrate, is called the mirroring technique. I like my friends. I don't know what problem you have with them. I don't have any. Oh, okay, this is number one thing. Repeat. Don't answer. Um, what does that mean to you, Sean? Mirroring. Reflection? It reflects. Okay. That's what I'm going to have these two do. I'm going to have them reflect to each other. So when I do vent, you don't get mad that I am venting. <laughs> okay, you hope that when you vent, I don't get mad. I'm really mad about your room. Uh, it's very dirty. Right? So you're mad about my room because it's dirty, and so therefore you cannot take it. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Lauren, did you see what this could possibly do to help your communication? Yeah, I do, because I, I think then he could really like hear out of his own mouth what I need, you know. John, how does this help you out? Um, I don't have to question, like try to second guess what she's saying. It makes sense. Again, taking care of the problem is almost secondary. It's the connection. Is that right? Yes. Is there more? I love you. <laughs> Let's make love. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Love Beers. Have a wonderful evening. Hope to see you again soon.